Hi, this is Diego Sorno, 23 years in the business from MDO Mortgage, and we'd love to be able to help you with your property. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to conquer the market with high interest rates. Stay tuned. So we all know that the Federal Reserve has increased the interest rates, and they do that as a way to fight inflation. Inflation allows an economy to expand or contract, and as a result, we are seeing now higher interest rates in efforts to cool down the market. Now, it's important to understand that higher interest rates means higher payments, therefore lower interest, supposedly from investors looking to purchase real estate. Some of the techniques that are used for real estate investors to get the interest rate lower from the market are several. One, getting the interest rate lower by paying points. Usually a point will bring your interest rate down by a quarter, a half, or three quarters of 1% depending on the investor and the credit profile of the investor. Two, you do something called interest rate buy downs. Not all programs in all banks allow these programs, but if you have the ability to, from the first three years, second and, th and, and third year, you have the ability to have a 3% lower than the current market, your monthly payment will be lower, which will return higher returns, which will have higher net cash on cash return. There are so many mortgage products available in the marketplace that it's impossible to put them all here in a video, but what's most important is that if you have a property and you change jobs, you became self-employed uh, in the last month or in the last six months, and a lot of banks are turning you down, there are options for you to find financing, whether it is to purchase, whether it is to cash out and refinance. We have loan products that will allow you to purchase a property with low interest rates, or at least the best competitive interest rates with a product that will make sense for you. Most banks have a correlation directly with your credit score. Credit score is significant, not only getting a lower interest rate, but also getting your best quote for car insurance, for homeowners insurance even, even for some life insurance companies will pull your credit. Important to know that the higher you score, the higher your opportunities and chances you have to secure better financing. Normally, anything over 760 credit score is what lenders will have as the highest score to give you the best interest rate available in the market. Some of the loan conditions and loan programs that investors should be aware of are balloon mortgages, prepayment penalties on your mortgages, arms or loans that will have a, an adjustable interest rate mortgage. Some of them are recourse or not recourse loans. These are the most important key terms when you're getting a mortgage. In addition to that, there are some loans that can be assumable, which can be a favorable term on your mortgage as when market goes down and you have a lower interest rate then the next buyer that comes in to buy your property, they could assume your mortgage normally at a lower interest rate than the current market. We all know that the best way or method to secure the highest and best possible rate of return are two things. Number one is the purchase price. Purchase price is the key performance indicator when you are looking for the highest return possible. That's number one. Number two is lower interest rates. Now, you can purchase a property with whatever price um, scenario it is that you have within your, 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 uh, your growth plan or your goal. However, you cannot control interest rates. For that reason, it's important that you understand if you are securing a high interest rate today, if the long-term path for interest rates is going lower, 
it's okay the fact that you are buying a property that may be cash flowing at a zero or one or two percent cap rate or return on cash it's okay because eventually when rates go lower you should be able to maximize your opportunity for getting a higher return on your real estate investment there are a few trend indicators that consumers or real estate investors should be aware of number one is you can use a technical trend which is by going into either yahoo finance or google finance and you look for instance at the 10-year bond trend the 10-year bond trend is not 100% accurate when it comes into 30-year mortgages, but it's very, very similar. Whereas if you look at the short term, you should be able to see whether rates are going up or down and you can make your decisions based on that. But if you're looking at the longer term trend, I would say that maybe five year plus, you should be able to see that the 10-year bond is a great economic indicator that should tell you whether this rates are going to continue to go up or down if they're heading in a downward direction there are other trends that definitely people should be looking into like housing stats when housing permits begin to slow down that means that real estate builders or builders have really uh, not too much faith in the economy and therefore that is an indicator that real estate investors should be concerned with uh, labor statistics for instance you know the job market is important to know the higher the unemployment rate the more likely of a recession it's coming down so these are i believe the most important indicators of how you can you know leverage on that to make informed decisions on your real estate purchase loan to value it's a key component of packaging or putting together a real estate transaction that make a lot of sense consider you buying a property where you're putting down 20 percent and a lender may be offering you a nine and a half percent interest rate and you have the option to put five percent more on that transaction and if you did then we're able to find you a loan at seven and a half percent so that's two percent difference in monthly payment for either a 25 or a 30 year mortgage whereas only five percent of your funds will be contributed to make a bigger impact on your monthly payment definitely ltvs loan to value ratios on your loan have a big impact on how the rates are that you can get when you're structuring a transaction make sure you work with a broker that knows what they're doing so to maximize the best outcome of your real estate investment it's important that you communicate with us mortgage brokers as truthfully as you possibly can number one but number two is that you communicate your goal at the best possible scenario in other words if you're calling me because hey Diego I have a property and I purchased it four months ago and I bought it cash and I like to take some money out and I really don't have a job I had a w-2 job but now I'm self-employed because I realize I can make more money being self-employed tell me all of that stuff ahead so that I can properly plan for the for the mortgage structure for the structure that makes more sense for you for your scenario so it's important as a mortgage broker to hear from the from the investor the real estate investor your ultimate goal with a real estate transaction oftentimes investors have two paths when it comes into real estate investments one cash or a cash flow or a passive income or number two is capitalize your investment meaning you don't care about how much money your investment is going to make you in the short term but within three to five years you expect to be able to get at least two three or four times return on your investment you're putting in a hundred thousand dollars you hope to be able to get four hundred thousand dollars within five years that is again looking more towards capitalizing your investment versus getting you know two percent investment on your purchase of real estate you've gotten this far watching this video it's important to have the right team 
to help you build your real estate empire, reach out to us. We'd love to be able to connect with you. Number two is share the love. Share this video with somebody in your sphere of influence. Share it with your friends and family. You will not be disappointed. They'll learn so much when working with us. Have a pleasant day and thank you for watching our channel.